since you disagree with these aspects of church teaching, and obviously I can tell you disagree with them strongly, um, why do you decide to remain Catholic? Um, it's because, well, let me back up. In eighth grade, I thought I wanted to be something else. Something else. <laughs> I thought I wanted to be a, I thought I wanted to, um, change denominations. Um, because I thought I was really having a hard time with this whole women can't be priests thing. Yeah. And so I looked at a, I didn't, I mean, I was in eighth grade and my parents wouldn't have been thrilled if I was like, I'm going to go to some other church. Um, but I, like, I, I just remember, like, looking stuff up on the internet and, like, trying to find churches close by. I think maybe I'll go and see what it's like. Um, but ultimately, I feel Catholic. <laughs> it's difficult to explain, but, um, and, and there, like I said, like, the Eucharist is really important. It, mass. I love Mass. Um, and I've, I've been to other church, like, other denomination services, but the Eucharist is not, is not there. It's not, that sacrament is so central and that has come to mean a lot to me. Um, I would say that's, you know, the main, the main, <laughs> the main reason that I consider myself a Catholic and therefore remain in the church. Why is it worth it to you to be in an institution that you feel like you're discriminated in? I, it's the Eucharist, like, I, you can't find that anywhere else. I have such a, like, deep connection with it. I don't want to try and find a replacement that wouldn't involve the Catholic Church or like the Eucharist as we see and everything like that. I'm not eating a symbol. I'm like, I'm in, t like, I'm in taking Christ in completely yeah. and no other way, like not praying or like thinking or anything like that. I'm actually taking him in. Mm -hmm. I just said it. I guess Christ is okay. it's Jesus. Yeah, it's okay. yeah. <laughs> I mean, he was a guy. Yeah. But I don't know. That's just so important to me, like, because God is in me and not a symbol. Last semester, I committed to, like, becoming a lay Marianist and learning about, like, that was at a time when I was, like, just having all these, like, feminist rage moments where I was like, <laughs> the church! Um, I think Mary is really what, like, saved me and, like, kept me Catholic because she is just, like, an incredible woman who, like, said yes to, like, becoming, like, a you know, pregnant, unmarried woman at a time when, like, that could have resulted in, like, stoning easily. And she just, like, says yes without, like, hesitation, like, does what God wants. And, like, Mary's, like, the only one there who's, like, present at, like, Jesus' birth and his death. And she's, like, there the whole time. And, like, at the cross, she's not, like, running scared like a lot of the male disciples did, but she's, like, standing there, like, a strong woman, like, being in solidarity and even though she can't fix the problem like she's there to support her son before really before coming to UD Mary was just seen as like this shining example of purity and yes. obedience right. um, and seeing Mary as like a dynamic powerful forceful woman who raised God <laughs> I mean like formed Jesus like the man that he was, um, and you know, brought Christ into the world, and that's our that's our model. Not necessarily obedience and purity, although some of those things are are part of it. You know, like listening to God, but bringing Christ into the world in an empowering, active way. I think that is very empowering to me as a woman because the model is a woman. It's Mary, um, and that that's so huge, and it gets overlooked. And that's another thing I like about the Catholic Church is that Mary is really. Um, more recognized for the role that she played. I think what empowers me most as a woman is the example of Mary. Okay. To have like her as the ultimate like woman and like see everything she did. Like she birthed God. Like yeah. that's amazing. And she was this fantastic mother and person and just overall like and she like helped Jesus too. She wasn't just like raising him but with the wine at the wedding. The she's, wedding came yeah, yeah. She's the one who told him like, okay no you need to go like this is your time he just he didn't want to but she was there and i find that very empowering that she's the one who like pushed him like okay even if the church doesn't appreciate women and maybe the way they should like showing it through like women priests and like yeah female dialogue and stuff but mary's there mary's awesome <laughs> i don't know i i do find at times it's a lot easier to pray to her because like i, I it's hard to like pray to like a male god mm -hmm.